How to add awesome looking animated text callouts to your Final Cut Pro 10 projects. There are lots of ways to add animated track text callouts to Final Cut Pro 10 projects. You can do so manually, in fact, but Motion VFX's M callouts is one of the easiest ways to go about doing so. It includes built in text tracking as well. So all you need to do is set the on screen controls, click track, and then customize the callout to your liking. It's so easy and so simple that really it doesn't make sense to try to go out and do this manually. Although possible, it's just such a big time saver. So once it's installed, you go up to the titles slash generator section, click on titles there, and you'll see all the callouts. Now M callout simple too, which I'm using here, includes 50 different styles. So you can go through and preview each of these styles and find the one that works for you. I like this one right here, M callouts 20. That's the one I'm gonna use for this particular project. So all you do is drag it down to the timeline and I'm gonna put it right on top of a clip with an item that I wish to track right at the beginning of that clip. And then you can just drag in, position the title for however long you want the callout to appear on screen. So now just position the playhead to the beginning of the callout and the track just like that. And then move it over a little bit so that the animation can kick in. You can actually see the callout on screen. So now you can use the simple on screen controls to drag the callout to the desired position. You wanna place it in an area where there's some contrast so that it can easily track the item on screen. And then you can move the actual callout as well. Now you can also go into the inspector later and change up the parameters in a very granular way, uh, depending on your needs. All right, so we're gonna move the playhead back to the beginning of the clip. We know our position, we can kind of finesse it a little bit more and that is gonna look good. Obviously it's not tracking just yet, but if we put our playhead right at the beginning and then click the track button, you're gonna see it's gonna go through frame by frame and track this out so it's super accurate the very first time. So I'm gonna speed this portion up because it does take a little while to go through frame by frame and then get that accurate tracking. All right, so we're done. Now we can just go in and render this text here. So modify, render selection. Once that's rendered, we can play it back and see how it looks. So let's play it back now. Looks pretty good. Tracking seems really accurate. Following along with the object. Perfect. So like I mentioned, you can also go into the inspector and change up any of the parameters you wish to change. So I can change up the font. I can change up the font size. I can change the color, I can change the position, all that you can do so directly from the inspector. So let's do that right now. Let's change up some things and really customize this call out to our liking. So we're gonna go into the inspector here and I'm gonna change the title text, of course, to reflect the item on screen, change up the font. So we'll use Helvetica Noye. And like I mentioned, you can also change up the position of the call out. Just, there's just lots of things you can change and alter to make this thing yours. All right, so we're done. Let's go ahead and play it back. And there we go. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for an easy, simple to use way to add tracked text to your projects, then really you'd be hard pressed to find something simpler than this, where you literally just position the call out, press the track button and watch it go to work. So ladies and gents, for more details on M callouts, check the description. Next week, we'll have another editing centric video at seven o'clock on Wednesday. So check back then. Make sure you subscribe so that you're notified once the video goes live and leave us a thumbs up if you appreciated this video. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac. <laughs>